news that me and my girlfriend we recently found out was we're expecting. It's Rusty, Rusty and Taylor. We just left the hospital and we do have the gender. We found out. It's a boy! It's a boy! It's a boy! It's a boy! We're having a boy! We're having a boy! We're having a boy! We're having a Pennsylvania, and we are currently at South Bend Memorial Hospital. Uh, just the other night, me and Taylor went to the hospital because she wasn't feeling well. And at three in the morning, they transferred us from Pulaski County Memorial to here because Taylor is officially going to be having Hunter in a couple days. They just induced her today. Now this is our second day here. I didn't vlog yesterday about it because I was just extremely tired. I only got like four hours of sleep. Today I got a little bit more. Still tired. But right now Taylor's asleep also, so I'm just gonna be giving a run through the next couple of days of what's going on. You're not gonna see anything uh, personal or private, like hallways and room numbers, but you will be seeing um, as we go through this. And you're not gonna see the full birth at the time of I film it, but you will see part of it, and you will see Hunter when he's born, guys. I am so excited. Um, I'm gonna have my first kid. So without further ado, let's do it. through town just my boy and me with a happy meal in his booster seat knowing that he couldn't have the toy till his nuggets were gone a green traffic light turned straight to red I hid in my brakes and mumbled under my breath his fries went a flying and his orange drink covered his lap well, in my four-year-old set of four-letter There's the pregnant mommy. And my son. And there's his heartbeat. Her heartbeat. Her blood pressure. Very healthy. Very tired, got a lot less sleep than me, and she's a huge fighter. I'm gonna talk with her more when she gets up. She's calm. Man and Pop Pop got my little bear, and his mommy did too. Daddy got him the little beanie swear too. It's mommy and daddy, Nana Pop Pop, love you. So how you feeling today? So, so. so what brought you to the hospital? Dehydration. You want to uh, explain a little bit more? So I was getting really sick. Couldn't keep any food down because of you, little man. So we went to the hospital. And then we ended up here. In no. the birthing room. To give birth to you. Now, how many days have we been here now? We've yeah, been here since, what, Thursday night? Wednesday, Monday, it's like Saturday morning. I've been here for a while. Why don't you tell them one day we went to the hospital first? I went to the hospital on Thursday. Or Friday. I went to the hospital on Friday. Friday. And we've been here and it's already what Monday. What special Friday? Friday the 13th. 
Too excited for him to come? Yeah. I can't wait to wait for can't wait to meet my mom there. Day three, we just got transferred to the birthing unit. I'm out in the hallway now. Um, we'll try to talk to Taylor with the unit, but uh, she yeah, no sleep last night. Oh, um, I got a little bit of sleep. Her contractions are more steady; they're about five minutes apart. Still dilated at two centimeters. But good news is we are in the birthing suite now, which means it shouldn't be too much longer. So. Oh, Taylor. Is there anything you want to tell her, uh, anyone? So Taylor's having on and off contractions as of 10 minutes ago. Uh, she did get a little bit of sleep. Um, right now the doctors are trying to calm down uh, the, her diabetes she possibly may have. And also, they have the preeclampsia under control. And right now, also, the contractions over here. Right. See how far apart the contractions are for a 10 minute span. So you get an idea of that. Feeling alright? Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully he comes tonight. We are in the birthing center. Before we continue, I think it would be a great time to talk about what has happened so far and what we haven't covered before filming. Hi everybody, it's the most recent Russell. Uh, Russell, 2020 on 9-9-2020. Wow, that's a mouthful to say. Alright, so probably by now you understand that Taylor has had preeclampsia when she was here and birth to Hunter. But you probably, and you already know that we were in the hospital, we went to the hospital, actually, to the Plasma Memorial on Friday 13th, September of last year. But another thing you probably don't know is, me and Taylor were actually on a break for two weeks. And the day we got back together was, in fact, the day we went to the hospital. And also, we were going to... We were transferred to South and Memorial from Las Guy Memorial, which is a 40, which is 40 miles away from where we currently live. So, in other words, we were on a drive. But a lot of other things that happened that probably weren't mentioned in the documentary as of now, or for the film it and announced it, was not only did Taylor have preeclampsia, but she also had gestational diabetes. And what was also unique about the preeclampsia is. She had the protein in her urine, but she didn't have the high blood pressure. And she had signs of gestational diabetes, except a high blood sugar. So this was a unique case for them. But another thing that they that went through my head at the time of filming this documentary, and it didn't really hit me until the final day before birth, was it was starting to look like, because they didn't know how to pinpoint anything, that it was a possibility that neither of these two would be coming home with me. So this was a lot of things going on in my head. We had a lot. Taylor was constantly in and out. Hunter was underdeveloped. He was coming almost two months early. Or she was getting ready to happen two months early. So there was a lot going on in our head. I talked about that. We have already facing a homeless situation where we didn't have a home over our home. So there was a lot going on at this time, also repairing a relationship. But now I caught it back on everything, let's get back to the documentary. So Taylor 
Bird just had the Epidoro not too long ago, and they're getting ready to do the next part, which is breaking the water. And there's no telling when he's going to be here. There is also a possibility that he'll be in the NICU for a couple of days, so maybe a week or so, when he is born. Right now, Taylor is a little, is finally calmed down, and she's a lot less pain. So we're going to go talk to her real quick, and then we're going to see what happens next one. And hopefully after the water break, it won't be too long. Because we're over 60 hours in this hospital alone. She's been induced for a golden month, 36 hours. And we've been at a hospital, first checked in at Winnemac Hospital about 8.30 Friday nights. And it's almost 10 o'clock at night. So. But so, after they break the water, he is here soon. Alright, so, I know the ep how did Epidoro feel? Oh, my shit. You, are you excited? For the next part? Yes, because now I finally get to be my little boy. And what's the next part? Delivery. check on it just about 10-15 minutes before I came outside and the water is still leaking because when they broke it they poked it and now the water is coming out even faster and she's now dilated up to almost four centimeters that's the only update I have right now but it's big, uh, better than nothing Hey, Felon! Huh? How's that you? you? Doing alright? Yeah. I just have a lot of pelvic pressure. But pain in my hips. Which I say is good. Coming. It's coming. You're coming, buddy. 100%. We are excited for you and everyone else watching this video. Uh, she chose C section. I don't know. took her back and they're getting ready to do a c-section on her it's officially 605 so i'll be going back in the next couple minutes and i'll let everyone know
Are you seeing him, Glenn? Yeah! Oh, hey, buddy! Yeah. You got a picture, Glenn? I do! Buddy. What are you doing? Can you say hi to Nana and Pop Pop? Oh, what's wrong? I'm tired. There you go, buddy. Cry. It's okay. You're tired, aren't you? So Hunter is doing extremely well on the second day being uh, in the world. He's already starting to learn how to breathe on his own, and it's extremely good for uh, being six weeks born early. And Taylor's body is also starting to go back to normal too. So I give it about another month, and he should be coming home. One second. There you go. Oh, you got a baby. Okay, so now three days. Him being three days old. What? How does it feel now? It feels, it doesn't even feel real yet, honestly. Come on, honey, you can be, you can go, you can. Can you tell me about the, the uh, changes he's had since his uh, birth? Well, he's no longer on a respirator, so he breathes on his own now. Come on, honey. He no longer has his IVs because he doesn't have any of the effects of diabetes or anything. Come on, honey. He's pretty much eating on his own now. So they'll probably take the feeding tube out soon. Um, he's supposed to come home next weekend. Come on, honey. How does it feel to be a mom now? It feels, it, it's a great feeling, but it's also really all anxious. Come on, honey. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Hey, Electra. Electra main. Hey. Hey. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Guess what? Guess what? Hey. Guess what? Your little brother's coming home today. Your little brother's coming home today. Are you excited? Sorry. Your little brother's coming home. Are you excited? Could you at least pretend to be excited? That's right, guys. About a week. It's been six days since Hunter's born, and he's finally coming home. I am so excited. I still have to work tonight, but I'm just so thrilled that he's finally going to come home. He's He was taking off the feeding tube yesterday, and I know Taylor's excited to come home. But without further ado... This is Hunter on his first day home from the hospital. After his story time, sleeping like a rock. Never worry, child, everything's alright. It may take a while to see the good life. I'm right here with you. You're a little rusty. What you doing? Get the hiccups? Oh, the hiccups get on the man. Little Rusty! Now what do you say? It's me more happy for the easy ball for you to grab. What do you say?
day. Uh, would you guys want a marathon for daddy? Hey Hunter, I was just wondering, would you guys want a marathon for daddy? Hunter, hey! I, I want to put the, uh, the camera on him, but I want to put the uh, software film, and this happens. Oh my god, this is Baba, Daddy saw a spider eat another spider. What do you guys say to that? Is that funny? Hunter, is that funny? See your favorite hunter. Bye, bye, bye.